Hello there and welcome to a new video. In the last video we discussed how you can connect to a remote uh, translation memory in WordFast Pro 5. And in this video now I'll be demonstrating you how you can connect to a huge free remote glossary in WordFast Pro 5. So if you want to learn how, just follow me in this quick tutorial. So here again, if you watched uh, my video on connecting to uh, the VLTM, uh, here again, this feature connecting to a remote glossary, a free glossary is a feature that uh, you'll be able to use only if you have uh, the license for WordFast Pro 5. And if you don't have uh, a license already, you can purchase one or you can get a 30 day trial license. If you don't know how to do it, just check uh, my video on the VLTM that explains you how. So now to be able to uh, set this up, first thing you need to do, you need to be in your current project view. Okay, so that's where we are now. And you will go to the project terminology tab. From here, you need to click on connect to remote. And here again, so you have two tabs, okay? So you want to be in the WF server tab, which is where we are at the moment. And so we'll start filling this up. I'm going to give it a name. As the free glossary that we'll be accessing to is called IATA. I'm going to name it IATA. Search language is English and target, target language will be French. Uh, now I'm going to need to fill up the URL. So here uh, you will be able to get all the credentials in the video description. So I'm going to copy paste from this little file I have made here, but you'll be able to copy and paste yourselves from the video description. Uh, just bear in mind that you need to make sure that you're using the correct set of languages. So here, highlighted in yellow are the languages EN here um, in, uh, in small letters is stands for English. So that's the language code and uh, that's the source. And here I have the target, which is FR again uh, in small letters. And uh, that's my target uh, language. If you don't know what your language code is, just check here in uh, this link that will be in the video description and that will help you uh, to uh, determine what's the language code that you need to use. So let's now copy and paste this here. Okay, so that's a full line. All right. So I'm copying it and I'm now pasting it here. So what happens is this gets automatically filled up. If for any reason this does not look exactly as what you will have here. Okay. Uh, make sure it does and then copy and paste manually every, um, every field here. Okay. What you will need to do is to put your own password. Okay. And your own password will be this last line with this number and the slash at the end. So let's copy it and paste it here. Okay, so I've just done it. So that's fine. Work group ID, there's no need to filling this up. And uh, if you want to use it, of course, it needs to be tick selected and it will always be ticked read only. So now you just click on OK. Okay, so now it's done. We can see here it's selected and it's in read-only mode. So let's see how this performs in our file that we are translating. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can locate uh, some uh, of my terms. So I go to terminology and highlight all terms. And I'm going to see what happens. Okay, so after waiting for a few moments, I get this result. I've got many, many, many recognized entries in uh, this remote glossaries uh, sorted in different glossaries and I can uh, check them here in the bottom. So that's really a nice feature and that's working fine. And that's a free glossary. There you have it. Well, I hope this uh, tutorial will prove useful to you. 
and uh, that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, you can watch the next video that will appear just here. And uh, if you like uh, this channel, please subscribe, uh, give me a like and feel free to comment also uh, on these videos. And I hope I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.